Welcome to the Ask the Doulas podcast. I am Alyssa Beneclaus. And I'm Kristen Revere. We are co-owners of Gold Coast, and we are here today with Autumn and Chris from People Picture Company. Hi. Hi, Hi girls. Welcome. So we, we wanted to bring you in because you do a lot of birth photography, and a lot of our clients use you, but I know a lot of people are cautious or maybe don't understand quite what the role of a photographer is in the delivery room. Yeah. And I think it might be weird for people to say, you know, there's going to be this stranger with a camera, you know, (laughs) photographing my private parts. (laughs) Like, I don't know this person. And, you know, so can you ease people's fears and maybe tell us what the whole process looks like? Yeah, of course. So it all starts with a prenatal consult. So this is where we we get together and we discuss your birth plan and what you want your birthing experience to look like. Um, This helps give us an idea like, okay, are you doing a hospital birth or a home birth or birthing center? Like all these things kind of factor into it. We exchange phone numbers and all the information there too, and then um, picking packages. But it's really, it's a time for us to get together and to get to know each other because it is a very personal, private, intimate experience. And, you know, we're going to be there with you. So we want to be able to know you and have you be comfortable with us. It's and almost like when you do weddings and you have a shot list and you're prenatal, I'm sure you go over, okay, this is what's acceptable and this is what I don't want. Exactly. We also go through and um, we show off some of the other births that we've done that the mothers have completely agreed that it is okay for us to show. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a couple of photos on our website, um, thepeoplepitcherecompany.com. If you go into um, maternity and births, you can see them there. But when we go into a consult, you get to see a little bit more in depth. These are ones that are like, you know, actually during the birth experience. So sometimes there's nudity because you might get really hot when you're giving birth to your child. <laughs> yes. Um, and, you know, sometimes some people want that crowning photo. I'm not going to put that online. But, you know, if you want to see what that looks like or a photo of your placenta where your baby lived for a while, then, you know, I can show you those during the consult. So you get more of an idea and a feel of what you can expect from your birth photos. Okay, so it's kind of like if I were to say I want my... I want birth photos, but I don't want any shots of boobs. I don't want any shots of, you know, vaginas. I don't want a butt. Like, then you would know that going in saying, okay, we need to crop this out or I'm not going to... Not going to photograph it. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want the, like, photos of your child, like, coming into this world, but you don't want that crowning photo, I don't have to be right where the doctors Mm -hmm. are. We can be right up by your shoulder. In fact, that's how it was with my photos. Um, I don't have any crowning photos of my son coming out, but I have some great photos from over my shoulder and you can see him just like emerging Mm -hmm. into the world. And it's so magical because you can even see like everyone that's in the room and my husband and my, my doctors and everyone. And it's just like... It's so magical because especially most of that, I had my eyes shut and one of my friends was like, no, open your eyes, open your eyes. You have to see this moment. (laughs) I think a part of it too is uh, during the consult, you are getting comfortable with each other and there's a moment where you kind of think past the nudity, you know, you're, we're basically capturing the emotional experience between you, your baby, your family, and that is something that is bigger than Mm -hmm. the nudity sometimes. Right. Right, and I love that you've also supported surgical births and shown the beauty of that as they're getting prepped to go into the operating room and so on. Like Some of those pictures are yeah. amazing. So the cesarean births, we're not allowed in the operating room for those, but we are allowed in like the prepping areas and as you're like walking down the hallway or being wheeled into the um, operating room, we can do all of that and we can do the couple of hours after the birth as well. Um, it's just for those, it, we're not actively allowed in those rooms for the, the surgical process. Yeah, and I've loved attending Verse with People Picture Company because, I mean, you really do capture the emotions of the couple and the intimate experience that they have, and as well as obviously meeting their new baby or babies for the first time. And really, I mean, it, you have a way. That's why we have you photograph <laughs> our team. Um, and a lot of the events we do of really just capturing that moment so perfectly and the beauty of birth and regard, you know, the raw and realness uh, of all of it. So, and no birth is the same. 
No two births. No. But they're all emotional. I cry at everyone. (laughs) (laughs) For sure they are. I mean, it's an honor to be in someone's Mm -hmm. birth space. I don't take that lightly as a doula. So you're essentially on call. That's why you exchange. So how does that work from your clients and you exchange phone numbers and then when the due date approaches, you just kind of, they know your phone's going to be on next to the bed all night? Yep. My phone is on next to my bed all night. It is turned up as loud as it possibly can be. And um, in case I'm asleep, my husband is a very light sleeper. So if he hears it, he's definitely going to be waking me up. I was going to say, you're pretty amazing. (laughs) You wake up and you're there. Yeah. And it's magical. (laughs) So funny because most births, like, Almost all the births that I've been on have been like middle of the night. We're getting a call mm-hmm. like, hey, we're, you know, we're starting to have some contractions going on. And we're like, OK, great. You know, keep us informed. Let us know, you know, when your water breaks and we'll be there wherever you're going to be having uh, your birth. And we're very flexible. So if you were originally going to be doing a home birth and then something is weird and you need to go to the hospital, then just have someone let us know. It doesn't matter who it is. Um, just put our number in your birth plan and, you know, we'll, we'll be there. Mm-hmm. That's what a doula is good for. We can call you and let you know. Right? Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, we're headed to the hospital. Let us know. Yeah. And the greatest part is we have a whole team. So during that time where Chris is on call and she needs to be ready whenever um, anything that she has going on, we're there to kind of help take care of that so we free up her time to be available to be at the birth no matter what Mm -hmm. yeah and um so i'll i block off your due date for sure like that entire day is completely reserved i won't schedule anything and then for a week or so before and a week or so after because babies come when they want to come um i have those listed as on call which means that if someone else needs to take one of my other sessions that i have pre-booked because you're going into labor at that point then They have that. I have a bag packed in with me wherever I am. So I am ready to go and meet you as soon as I get the call. (laughs) Sounds just like what I do as a birth. Well, most of my calls are the middle of the night unless it's, um, you know, a planned Mm -hmm. um, birth. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, or early morning. I sometimes will get a call. They've been laboring at home in early labor, and then they want my support early in the morning. So... Babies just love coming at night. They, they do. do. My son came at um, right after midnight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and our birth photographers, um, Bree, she's one of our team. Um, she actually doesn't shoot anymore, but she she picked up a camera for me. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was like her last session uh, that she did. And she came. She was so sweet. She came at like, oh gosh, I don't even know what time. She came pretty early. Um, probably about seven o'clock, I think, is when like my uh, my water broke and everything. And she was there until about one o'clock in the morning when I finally kicked her out. Yeah, I'm like you need to go home. You need to go to sleep. <laughs> like we got our photos. We're great. We got our like few things that we wanted afterwards. Like go home and sleep. But that also leads me to like you know the photos of after the birth. Like how long yes. we get to stay for that. That's actually a really good segue there that I didn't want to do. Yeah, and I know some clients can hire you just for that like, yeah. fresh hour or that time of bonding and not the actual labor if their preference is to not be photographed during mm-hmm. the birth Absolutely. itself. Definitely. It's still all the same thing. Like, we're still on call and everything. And the way our packages work, we have two different ones, and they both include up to two hours of post uh, birthing. And that covers like the first moments of your child's life. So I mean, if you want us in there for the birth, then that could include the cord cutting and um, such. If you want us there for like the first um, little bit afterwards, it can include also like the first time you're nursing your child, if that's what you end up doing. If you're doing skin to skin contact, the weight, height and head measurements. So and you the have footprints. the mm-hmm. footprints and the first family photo of you all like all together in that like blissful moment and then also if you have any family members that are coming to meet the newest addition so if you have like an older child that's coming to meet their younger sibling for the first time or you have some grandparents that are being grandparents for the very first time um we can be there yeah, for that so too sweet. how does it work let's say a client gets induced and says hey i'm going into the hospital but then it ends up like taking two days how do you Or haven't you had a client like that where you're there for a really, really long time? We've had one where we've been there for a really long time. You've had to do switch shifts. Yeah. (laughs) I've done some switch shifts before where we kind of like tag out like, okay, I've been here for like 12, 13 hours. I need a momentary break. I need a little cat nap, but we don't want you to have to worry about 
missing it. Okay. Um, so then we just kind of tag out with one of our other team members, and then we swap for a little bit. So there's no price difference. It's just no. whatever birth you have, whether it's two no. hours or two days. Yep. Okay. Your your kid comes in the time when your kid wants <laughs> to come, and we got to be flexible with that. <laughs> right. And even like with inductions, there can be some sweet moments where they're on the birthing ball or moving around the room and you mm-hmm. can capture, again, if it is a couple, you can capture the, the intimacy with the couple or if there's a doula supporting. Well, well the definitely. greatest part is it's not just one single moment with the birth. It's right. the entire process and being able to capture that for uh, basically the entire family is such it's so special because you literally see the moments before when they're on the ball and they're trying to get get them out and then they you know it's the whole story it it literally is the story and going back to personal experience I was induced for my son because he was a week late and didn't want to come um (laughs) and there are times because it was a long emotional hard birth that I don't necessarily remember but because I had my photographer there and I made a book later on like I'm able to remember and to kind of not necessarily relive because I don't remember the pain thank god (laughs) Um, but I do remember the the joy and I remember thinking like for me the birthing ball was bad and all I could remember was saying ball bad ball bad (laughs) (laughs) but I remember that because I have the photo of me with that ball and then the ball completely on the other side of the room because I didn't even want to see it (laughs) that's funny listening to your body is key that's what I say oh yeah yep So once you get into the labor and delivery room, what does that look like? Are you kind of like a fly on the wall trying to stay out of, like, like you don't want them to even know you're there? Or are you talking to them? And It kind of depends on the couple um, or on the mom and what they want. And this is why we do the prenatal consult. We usually try to help out if we can, like either be a gopher, like so if someone, you know, if the mom is like really sweating but doesn't want her partner to leave her and needs a wet washcloth or something, then, you know, we will do that. If you need some, you know, some ice chips or something, like we can go and do that for you so that your people don't have to leave. Although, of course, if you have doulas, then they usually end up helping out that way too. Right, of course. So we help out where we can, but otherwise, like, you know, it's usually it's very intimate and the couple's pretty much in their own world and we just kind of capture that and stay out of the doctor's way (laughs) so after you have your baby we know that you know you're really excited to show the photos of your your new little baby to friends and family and all your loved ones and so Instead of sending cell phone photos that can look a little weird, yes, we do sneak peeks. So we'll provide you with a handful of photos that are like completely ready to send out to friends and family. Um, like the next day kind of thing? Within 24 hours. Okay. Usually less than that. It's usually like one of the first things that we do once we she leave She gets the really excited. Room. She gets back to the studio <laughs> yeah. and she's like, I'm doing this. I'm really you excited. always do. <laughs> yes. Every <laughs> team <laughs> photo, you're like, okay, give me a couple weeks. And like two days later, you're like, they're ready. They're ready. <laughs> <laughs> I was just too excited. I had to go well, through. Well, I mean, it's our work and we get so excited about it and we can't wait to show it off because what is the point of just sitting on it when we can share it with everyone? Well, and I know, so, you know, in my past life, I was a photographer. It was the same thing. Like, while it's fresh in my head, I wanted to go through them, and it's like mm-hmm. exciting to see what you just created. Oh, absolutely! Yeah. Um, so I get it. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll you'll get a handful of photos like same day, usually within a few hours. Okay. So mm-hmm. then you can just send them out, and then on um, the final photos, we say two weeks, but it's usually sooner. <laughs> and certainly, I mean, I feel like birth is a major rite of passage and as wedding photographers you understand how much time money and preparation is involved in planning for that rite of passage Mm -hmm. but really when you look at minor investments in the birth and postpartum time for a family I mean it's hiring a birth photographer or doing newborn shots doesn't even compare to the investment in a wedding photographer for example Oh, yeah, no, it's a fraction. Can you explain a bit about what your fees are so people who aren't familiar with birth photographers as you talk about being on call and longer lengths Mm -hmm. and so on? Okay, so we have a couple different packages when it comes to the birth. Okay. Um, And they each include high-resolution images for you um, to share, to do whatever you want with. Uh, And then you also get an album to create for our highest package, which is a 20-page lay-flat album. You're saying a digital album? 
Uh, no, no, it's no, a it's cool. a photo okay. album. Photo Perfect. album. So you get digital files, high resolution, and then our highest package, you get a 20-page album okay. to share, have it on your table so you can show it off. And plus, like Chris said, you get to relive the moments mm -hmm. because sometimes you just don't remember. And right. having that printed album is so important um, because you can't have all of your images live on digital because you don't know how long they're going to last. We always want everybody to print things. so Which is right. why we provide you with the high resolution images too because those are good quality for printing. Yes. yes. Um, so you're welcome to print them yourself or you can print with us. We have a la carte print packages mm -hmm. too. Absolutely. Um, so the first package, like Autumn was saying, it's 850. It includes everything, the prenatal consult, the on-call availability, the two hours after birth, and then a hundred high or hundred or more, however many sure. yeah. um, high resolution images and a 20 page five by five print photo album. And then our second package, which is our base package, is for $500. And that includes 30 to 50 high resolution images. So that's if you just need like, you know, just a little bit, just a little reminder, not like the whole big right. coverage of everything. And then because we want to see you guys again and provide you with a really good first family photo that's not right after birth, we include 10% off your uh, newborn session um, with if you get either of these two packages because, yeah, your first family photo, like, yeah, it's great to have one in the hospital, but let's get one where your, like, hair and makeup are actually <laughs> done, too. You're not too. in a <laughs> And, and I know you can your do own documentary home. style mm -hmm. or more of the pose family shots, depending on preference and Absolutely. price and so on. We actually prefer doing newborn sessions in the home because it's where you're going to be the most comfortable. And then you also don't have to worry about packing up the family and moving them to yes. our studio, um, which can be a hassle sometimes. And our goal is to make everything hassle free. So we come to you and we can document your entire family as you are. And we can also get some pose shots, ones that would be printed and put on the wall. And then the documentary style also working well if you do an album. Um, and plus, it's more realistic. It's you. It's in your zone. It's where your family is. And yeah. if you have other kids, it's also really fun to see how they interact with the baby also. Yes. Yeah. So, like, some of the documentary ones that we've done is, like, within your nursery. So, if you're, like, changing your baby on the nursing table or nursing them, like, in a rocking chair or something like that, then you get a photo of, like, the entire nursery in this environmental setting, too. Um, we've That's also nice. You did that with a twin client of ours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, they were so sweet. Oh, my gosh. They were adorable. And we had grandma in there, too. Yeah. <laughs> it was very sweet. So, if anyone's interested in birth photos or family photos or baby photos or maternity, maternity photos, photos. Yeah. photos what's the best way for them to reach out probably our website would be okay. the best we have all of our packages are listed on there okay. um mm -hmm. the website again is the people picture company.com it's kind of long but <laughs> you can find us through google um and you also have a page on the gold coast doula's yeah, website yes, we, do. we do so you can just go to the gold coast doula's website and go into birth photography and find us that way too mm -hmm. and then yeah we have all of our packages listed and um a handful of images to show you just kind of a portfolio of examples to see if we're your flavor of photographer or not <laughs> and the best way to find out is just reaching out and setting up a consult to get to know us really yeah you can do that straight from the website we have contact boxes you can email us mm -hmm. um, and probably depending on the time of year as long as it's not wedding season you could do a last minute like hey i'm 38 weeks and i just decided i want a photographer oh, absolutely. as long as you're not in the throes of wedding season you might right. be able to as say long yes as you're not a friday or saturday <laughs> chances are really high <laughs> Cool. Well, thanks for joining us. Is there anything else that we didn't cover? I did want to point out that uh, another thing after birth, uh, one of our favorite things to do is follow you through the first year. Um, what we have is a package that basically is dedicated to capturing your baby at several stages in the first year. So then you can do like the three, six, nine months, and then the one year. So then you can also um, print that out and get it on the wall to see how much they've grown. And so then they change so much in that. They first really, year. really do. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's amazing. They go from literally. Tiny squidgies to little yeah. humans. To human <laughs> personality. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Um, and it's really f fun for us, I mean, especially somebody like Chris, who's there during the birth, 
probably the maternity session, and after with the newborn, and then we get to follow you through and literally watch your family grow. Uh, it is so much fun. It's because, awesome watching yeah, them grow. Fun. Yeah, <laughs> because we our goal is to become lifelong lifelong friends, um, not just the photographer for one day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we want to get to know you and become friends. Mm-hmm. You know, and tell your story. Mm-hmm. I love that. Yeah, that's cool. Thanks. You've been listening to Ask the Doulas with Gold Coast Doulas. You can find us on SoundCloud, iTunes, and on our website at goldcoastdoulas.com. These moments are golden.